vicious spirit is. She's not vicious. Hmm? Uh, so I haven't re really been keeping up with a lot of you, so... Uh, in fact, actually, if you guys want to check it out, I did two game reviews recently for Hellblade 2 and Homeworld 3, or Midworld 3. And we were just kind of playing through all of Ghost of Tsushima. But apparently, there's been a massive spike in ping or lag in recent days. Uh, and I, I've seen around in some discords a lot of people are complaining about the lag or server performance issues. I, I don't know. I think this person's talking about PC and I don't know if this is just a PC North America issue or it's like a PlayStation issue or just a uh, European issue as well. But it looks like there's a lot of uh, people talking and sharing their experiences. Hope Zoss can chime in and give some context as to what is happening behind the scenes. Uh, let's see. Uh, usually when the server is going down for maintenance, the ping or lag improves for a few days. But the spike we have seen the last week or so is abnormal. Affected areas are both PvE and PvP. I have heard people talk about how bad the servers are for like trials or just like performance. People are attributing it to, I, I guess, combination of events and uh, just, I guess, regular things. I've experienced the most in PvP though. Well, I mean, I, I, <laughs> that's, a, that's like a given at this point. Uh, based on zone chat, this appears to be a widespread issue and not localized to a handful of players. Things that have been observed are ping spikes to 999 plus for an extended period of time, 3 to 5 seconds, followed by massive rubber banding. I did see some rubber banding go on in the dungeons we ran earlier today, actually. I don't know if that was like internet though, or simply the game freezing them, unfreezing after a few seconds. Overall, the average ping has risen from around a 75 ish or, or for me to 350 ish. Okay, interesting. That is a pretty big jump. Um,. With the serial issues a few weeks back that were never explained, then the recent PTS issue, I'm making the assumption that there is a large effort behind the scenes to either refactor some code or networking or some other massive network or database overall. That's yet, that's yet to be announced, which I don't blame Zoss for not, not, not announcing. Okay. All right. So, and there's people sh kind of sharing their thoughts or experiences. Um, I did see, hold up, D didn't... I swear someone made a video. I think it was Ness, actually. Or was it JTK? That made a video about the lag? It was three weeks ago. Okay, it's a, it's a very short video, actually. If you haven't subscribed to Ness yet, go for it. So I think we also reacted to his video some time ago, recently. Okay, Zoss broke something. Yeah, yeah, th this is a video I watched. This is weeks ago, though. And this ping is what, 126? Not too bad. 96? Not too bad considering it's it's Cyrodiil. But okay, let's let's continue with the thread. Uh, my ping before the Jubilee averaged 280 to 320. Oh lord, this is like Australian player maybe. Yeah, <laughs> Australian player. Like literally, the number I saw I was like Australia or Southeast Asia. Uh, it's been bad lately. Connectivity. Okay, yeah, you know, I think C was experiencing this actually uh, during the dungeon or something similar to it. Okay, interesting. Uh, I'm hoping that these issues kind of hopefully get ironed out because the chapter launches actually soon, as of this video, uh, a couple of days. I and you're, uh, you know. I'm wondering because, oh, it looks like Kevin also responded. I'm wondering if this is going to be uh, solved or not because chapter launches are always quite heavy on the traffic load. They're quite heavy because they're adding new systems or new content in. So combine that with population spike, I I think we might be, we might need to expect that there's definitely going to be server issues that people are still experiencing these kinds of issues uh, this weekend, especially. So, yeah, I did see that's the next link me a ask us anything or AMA with from Zoss on the Reddit. Uh, just a heads up, I'll be streaming the entire week. And I'm hoping that these issues don't uh, persist. Uh, if you guys want to check out that schedule and official gold road and uh, update 42 ask us anything thread May 29th at 130 to 3 p.m. Eastern. Okay, so this is this is like a list of questions. 
Like, 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 like basically thread of questions people were asking and then they would respond. Hello everyone from Zostingy for doing this AUA. I wanted to ask if anyone from the team would be willing to shed some light on the server performance over the last few weeks. As has been documented in multiple posts, both here and on the official forums, there are times when the game simply freezes for a short period of time, and then when it resumes, it plays back all the events that had taken place during the freeze all at once. Okay, so very similar issues that we saw in the video and forum threads uh, that we just looked at. Sometimes this results in one or more players being completely booted from the game instance. Oh, that's kind of what happened with C. And forced to restart the game. This clearly seems like some sort of blocking issue, either at the network level or at dread level within the game loop itself. There's also lag in many areas of the game, especially when you are with a group. Crypto Hearts 1 is one dungeon where I see this 100% of the time during the fight with the twins. This has gotten significantly worse in the past month or so, and it would be nice to hear that the team is not only aware of the issues. Okay, so it looks like Rich Lambert, uh, the creative director, uh, responded. We're most definitely aware it's been a rough few weeks. So we, the timeline seems consistent here. DDoS attacks, DDoS, okay, have been a big part of performance issues, but aren't the only issue we're looking into. So I don't know if that means like someone's carrying out distributed denial of service attacks specifically on the ESO servers or if the ESO servers uh, are just a kind of collateral damage from D DDoS attacks. So it's very vague. And thanks, Rich. Appreciate it very much. This certainly makes sense. The DOS can be devastating to an inline service. Okay. And then there's a person saying, respectfully, that is such a cop out response. Okay. Why? These issues have been around for nearly the entirety of the game's life. <laughs> Yo, this guy's trying to cook. They have only gone progressively worse. Apart from the brief six to nine month reprieve of after the uh, server hardware was replaced. You guys even say that the poorly written code was the main culprit and announced a massive code rewrite project that was supposed to solve the problem. Well, I think that's still ongoing, uh, last I heard. And you postponed PvP content indefinitely during this time. Well, quarter four will have PvP content apparently, so I think they are confident enough now. Two and a half years later, the most recent update we got on this was we've made no significant progress and have no ET for the future of the project. Okay. To claim now that the server problems are a res uh, result of DDoS attacks feels dishonest. You know, I'm seeing similar sentiments even in the subeternal Discord server chat where I saw someone was like, yeah, I don't believe them, but I'm like, well, who, who else are you going to believe? Really? Are you going to trust a YouTuber? Are you going to trust yourselves in what's going on with the servers or what's going on with the company? I think at the end of the day, the people who are actually working on the game probably know a bit more about the game than me or, uh, you know, some, some guy from Discord or on the Reddit thread. But assuming that they are copying out with this response i feel like it's not a light thing for a company to be like announcing i'm not sure if the, if it should have been said here in this thread anyway uh that's a different story uh that they're getting ddos or that ddos attacks are affecting them I, I i think that's a very uh heavy thing to even declare so i don't know if that was if that's a lie i, I, I don't know about that I um I think that some of the frustration comes from a lot of people saw, I believe it was Kevin, say they don't know what's causing these problems. And then Rich turns around and says, this is the problem. We know exactly what's going on. Where Where is that? Okay, so here it is. Somebody did mention that Kevin said they didn't know what was going on in Simp's chat. But his post was... There are other issues at play that we are actively investigating regarding the performance issues. We are trying to provide our engineers with as much information as possible to narrow down what is occurring. Hence the previous ask for ticket numbers. We are working to figure it out so additional tickets, examples, videos, etc. will help us narrow down what is happening. Okay, so what I'm gathering from Kevin's post in relation to Rich's post is that Maybe they were aware, they were probably aware of the DDoS issues, mm -hmm. but wanted to also address the other issues at the same time, which is why he's asking for ticket numbers. Because Rich says DDoS attacks have been a big part, mm -hmm. uh, not the entire thing, but a big part of performance issues, but aren't the only issue we're looking into. So what, what people are just misinterpreting it or misunderstanding it? Could be, but I thought he said that we know exactly what the problem is, but then... Kevin was saying we're trying to narrow it down. Okay. I mean, that's up 
that's up to the server engineers. Sure. It's <laughs> so just like, like, you know, his player, his reader is finding two right. conflicting uh, I can. Okay. I think that, you know, kind of fuels some frustration. I can see that. But I don't really see it as DDoS attacks or, or whatever is the only reason. I see it as we're trying to get everything sure. out of the way. And that's what we're asking for mm -hmm. this on a separate uh, post. I said they do this, that they did this thread. They don't often do these kinds of threads on forums or Reddit or any of any and any of the uh, ESO platforms, ESO related platforms. Um, okay, well, what, there's a there's actually a pretty in interesting question. My question is: Will treasure maps and surveys get reworked in the future? Okay, and the short answer by Rich is: We're not happy with either at the moment. Ooh. They are on the list to get looked at. Maybe, maybe they'll finally update treasure maps and surveys or maybe like uh, some aspects of it.